Times TV today with put together 10 news updates since last weekend. But before we get right to it, we'd like to announce a new contest for our viewers. You can forecast the price of Bitcoin and win $100 as a reward. Just watch this video till the end to find out more. Tether has issued new tokens worth $50 million on August 11th, according to Omni Explorer. So now Tether has the highest daily trading volumes after Bitcoin, seeing $4.2 billion in trades a day. However, this stablecoin remains controversial because even though its tokens are claimed to be backed one-to-one -one by US dollars, the company has yet to submit to a public audit. The US-based graphics processing unit manufacturer NVIDIA reported that crypto mining sales were significantly lower than expected in quarter 2, adding that it does not expect to make significant blockchain-related sales for the rest of the year. Colette Kress, the chief financial officer at NVIDIA, said, Our revenue outlook had anticipated cryptocurrency-specific products declining to approximately $100 million, while actual crypto-specific product revenue was $18 million. Three weeks ago, Bloomberg reported on a secret meeting that took place in Chicago between Nasdaq and many other companies in the cryptocurrency space. According to two sources close to the Winklevoss twins crypto empire, Gemini and Nasdaq are moving closer and closer to a joint venture that will allow both the Nasdaq and Gemini to list tokens and provide the liquidity on the global scale. We'd like to remind you that Gemini is the 42nd most important virtual currency exchange in the market. It has six different trading pairs and a trading volume of $26 million. Sanford C. Bernstein & Co. published a report titled Crypto Trading – The Next Big Thing Is Here. In it, they say that revenue generated from crypto exchanges could more than double to as much as $4 billion this year, even amid the collapse in the prices of digital assets. The buying and selling of digital currencies, including Bitcoin, generated $1.8 billion of fees at the largest crypto exchanges last year, or about 8% of the revenue seen on traditional exchanges. Coinbase has relaunched its wallet offering to try and become the gateway to the decentralized internet. Unfortunately, for now it supports only Ethereum and all ERC-20 tokens, but support for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin is on its way. Until this rebranding, the company has been developing the Toshi app that was launched around a year ago, and has become one of the preferred choices for a lot of crypto users. Bitwise Index Services has announced the launch of three new indexes covering the mid-cap, small-cap and total market segments of the crypto market and the 10 large-cap crypto index. The Bitwise Crypto Indexes are available throughout the established financial trading ecosystem, including via Bloomberg, Reuters, FactSet and other data aggregators. Bitmain has sold much of its Bitcoin and purchased large amounts of Bitcoin Cash, according to a leaked pre-IPO document. It reveals that as of March 31st, the China-based firm was holding more than 1 million Bitcoin Cash on its balance sheet, worth nearly $600 million at the present exchange rate. Perhaps more significantly, that stake represents more than 5% of the 17.3 million Bitcoin Cash coins currently in circulation. However, if the current bear market does not turn a corner before the company files to go public, its Bitcoin Cash stake could begin to weigh heavily on its profit figures and possibly turn off some investors. At the moment, Ripple only has three products – XCurrent in production and two more on the way – XVIA and XRapid. But recently, the Ripple community has been abuzz with news that the Ripple company plans on integrating all of Ripple's software products into one convenient solution known as Convergence. According to Jim Chauncey Kelly, the director of talent acquisition at Ripple, his team is building software called Convergence that syncs together all of their three major products into one seamless format. However, this statement was then deleted and followed by a tweet by Kelly posted on August 17th. In it, he states that the three products will be on a Convergence release soon and that there isn't a software actually called Convergence. A report produced by the financial services provider WorldCore confirms that jurisdictions offering favorable business climate through crypto-friendly legislation account for a large portion of the exchange-based crypto trade. Malta, Belize and the Seychelles are topping the chart with over $2.6 billion of daily trading volume. However, using data from the popular peer-to-peer -peer exchange local bitcoins, the study pronounced another leader, Russia, with a weekly trading volume of 2,000 bitcoin followed by the USA with 1,000 Bitcoin, China with 600 Bitcoin, and Nigeria also 600 Bitcoin. 
On August 10th, Jackson Wong, a cryptocurrency researcher and journalist based in Hong Kong, released an investigative report on the headquarters of KuCoin, which are supposed to be based in Wan Chai, Hong Kong. He'd personally visited the Fu commercial building in Wan Chai, only to be told that Smart Team left the building years ago. On August 12th, KuCoin released an official announcement on its subreddit and revealed that its headquarters in Hong Kong are in fact empty, and the actual headquarters of the company are in Singapore. However, it still remains unclear why the company had to use the address of a building which it never was based in and the reasons behind the anonymity of its offices in Singapore. Okay, now back to the contest we mentioned at the start of this video. The rules are really simple. To take part in the contest and get a chance to win $100, you need to guess or predict what will be the price of Bitcoin on next Monday, August 27th. The participant whose forecast will be the most accurate wins the free Bitcoin. You can learn more details about our contest in the description to this video. Good luck!